Hello! Thank you all for taking time to watch my presentation, Theater Works, Building the Theater of Tomorrow, Today. God, I actually said it. Before we delve in, <clears throat> I want to take this time to explain the origins of Theater Works. Theater Works is an adaptation of the Federal Theater Projects, which was a unique experiment in American theater that was a unit of the government funded by the Works Progress Administration, which was established to combat unemployment. This is according to Brockett from our theater history textbook. It was headed by Hallie Flanagan, a professor from Vassar College. Federal Theater Project was one of the major projects under Project One of the New Deal passed by President Franklin Roosevelt. During its run from 1935 to 1939, it mounted over 1,000 productions, with 65% of them being free to the public. At its peak, it had over 12,700 employees in over 40 states. Along with job creation, it helped to begin the rise of African American theater. Now I know that that is a lot to live up to. Our country isn't doing as poorly as it was during the Great Depression, but currently, the national student loan debt is $1.2 trillion in this country. According to the Institute for College Access and Successes Project on Student Debt, the average student debt load in 2012 for those who hold a bachelor's degree was $29,400. For those who held both a BA and an MA in the same year, it was $58,539. That, combined with a 6.4% unemployment rate for theater arts majors and 5.9% for those who hold a graduate degree, research founded by Georgetown University Center on Education and the Workforce, make being a theater major one of the most irresponsible choices. Unfortunately, many theater majors have non-theater related jobs to look forward to after college, and many theater professionals must keep a side day job until the next opportunity comes along. Um, excuse me, I'm ready to take my order now. Just to put perspective on these rates, compare that with those who major in education. Their unemployment rates run 5.7% at the undergraduate level, and only 2% for those who hold a graduate degree. If that doesn't make you scared of theater, then compare our rates to the current national unemployment rate, which as of February 2015, according to the United States Department of Labor Bureau of Statistics, Bureau of Labor Statistics, is 5.5%. That is almost an entire percent lower than the unemployment rate for a theater major with a bachelor's degree. Now, I did not share these rates and statistics with you to intentionally make you run from theater or a higher education. There is financial relief out there and people like Freddie Arsenault, who graduated from the New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, $165,000 in debt, that founded the Artist Financial Support Group with two of his fellow graduates to help students of the arts in need. They are helping to resolve the issue of pricey higher education. But what if we could battle this, this issue from another standpoint? What if instead of putting a band-aid on student debt, we can relieve it altogether? How, you ask? Theater Works. Theater Works will require federal funding from where? Well, your guess is as good as mine. The purpose of Theatre Works is to create employment opportunities for actors, directors, playwrights, designers, stage technicians, and other workers in the theatre field. The far-reaching purpose is the establishment of theatres so vital to community life that they will continue to function after the programs of Theatre Works is completed. The country will be divided into 13 geographical regions to better maintain theater works, and each will be headed by a regional director. All forms of live performing arts are welcome to submit applications for funding to theater works, including, but not limited to, dance, children's theater, puppetry theater, opera, and symphonies. 
Funds will be appropriated on a need basis for job creation. Independent theaters may appoint a theater professional of their choosing to fill the new position created per the approval of the Theater Works Administration. The applicant's resume, position in which you wish them to fill, and a written letter as to why you want this individual to fill this position must be submitted to the regional director of the region your theater lies in before the official hire. Members of Theater Works Administration must be qualified to recognize a professional's abilities. Decisions must be made with an unbiased view. If an administrator's decision is called into question and there is evidence to support this claim, then an official hearing will be held to judge the decisions made by both parties. Cities that do not have a community theater may submit applications for funds to create one. Theater Works will use already standing empty buildings and renovate them to theater building regulations. Experienced theater contractors will be hired to head the renovations and local workers must be used to complete the theater. Not only is Theater Works creating jobs for the arts, but it can create jobs for the community around the theater that we're trying to create. No one is building anymore and many towns have plenty of empty buildings that are just cluttering their town. Renovating is the new way and it's not it's not even new. Like it's it just gets forgotten. Renovating is an excellent way that we can create new space without actually creating new space. It also brings in jobs for the real estate, construction workers, building supply companies, building painters, janitors, plumbers, electricians, you know, this is, this is more than just one theater or just making permanent jobs for theater professionals and theater majors. This is, this is more about bringing a community together, trying to not fix, but trying to mend a community with the arts while still trying to do the same thing on a national level. This can do both. It, we can bring it to homes and we can also bring it to the country. People have to uproot themselves to be able to keep doing what they love. Everyone has, everyone thinks they have to move to New York or LA or Minneapolis or Chicago, these huge towns where theater, thank God, is so prevalent. But, but what about the homeowners? Why, why does this profession have to uproot people from the cities that they love, why can't we bring it to them? Why can't that be an option? Why can't we keep the city that we love and stay in the homes that we have bought already or enjoy ourselves in and still do the job that we love and have an impact in this profession? The production of new dramatic materials dealing with local history or folk drama are encouraged to be made by theaters using funds from theater works. A workshop with complete facilities for building a production and for rehearsing should be incorporated in the project as needed. Collaboration between different theaters, dance companies, opera houses, and symphonies or any other type of live performing arts center is also strongly encouraged. In addition to these encouragements, one community outreach show must be staged per season by any company that receives equal to or more than $5,000 from theater works that is free admission to the public. I got into theater knowing the costs, the same as everybody else who does it. But that doesn't stop us. We, we love what we do and theater is important. In the, and we love what we do and theater is important in the world. It, there are so many universities offering amazing opportunities and programs, but the job market just doesn't match. It just, it, it's not big enough to hold all of us. The people who are striving to get their higher education so they have a better opportunity to be in this field. It, it's almost as if they don't want us to do it for money. It's just for love. And we have the love, but we also have families and we have bills to pay. Ready. To the director who visualizes scenes in her head but never gets to really see them. To the actor who spends all their free time rehearsing for a play that will never see the grand stage. To the lighting designer 
who walks through the light bulb aisle of Home Depot daydreaming about the endless possibilities. To the choreographer who sets dances on chess pieces instead of actual dancers. Theater Works is for you. It's for us. It's to make sure that we can still do what we love and be able to support ourselves and our families. We need to stretch the professional world. Of, it's a bubble that's this big, but yet us who have degrees and are getting this higher education, we're, we're larger than that. We need to stretch the professional world to fit us so that we can still maintain the lifestyles that we are accustomed to. We shouldn't have to sacrifice that for our passions and for our art. We need theater works. This is why we need theater works, so that dancers like this can be able to sit at home and play with pandas in the back of projects. Yeah, let's keep this up. <laughs> you yelled that. I did. We'll be hired. <laughs> we'll live it. Ignore her. She'll be editing it out. Yeah, all right. I got into theater knowing. <laughs> you, just, hey. you just got so surprised. Sorry. <laughs> we got into theater and dance because even though we knew the cost, <laughs> I can't think of what your face. What are you doing? You're just like, I'm just here. We got into theater and yeah, dance. <laughs> and we have mouths to feed, and there ain't nothing in this world for free. I'm like, poor fool thing, I'm gonna keep that whole back, but you know, I really wish I could, you said to me. Ain't no rest for the wicked until we close our eyes for good. Theater works is for you. It's for us. It's, it's to make sure we can do what we love and still support ourselves and our families. <coughs> we need to stretch. Oh, that's right, you can cough all through that. I know. <laughs>